Hey fellow hobbyists, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install a Big Tree Tech filament sensor with Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi so that filament spools that look like this don't end up costing you long prints like this. Octoprint really is a great piece of open source software for monitoring and controlling your printer, but it's a well known issue that it will not read your main board's uh, filament runout sensor. Now even if Octoprint did read your mainboard sensor, most mainboard sensors are actually just limit switches that will detect the presence or absence of filament. That will help you in the case of a filament runout, you know, if your spool runs out of filament. Uh, what it won't help you with is the far more common issue of a tangled spool. Because in this case, the spool didn't actually run out, it just stopped moving. So the ultimate solution we want is something that will allow us to use Octoprint while also detecting filament runout and filament tangles. And that's where the Big Tree Tech Smart Filament Sensor comes in. Now this sensor isn't smart in the sense that we mean it uh, today. It doesn't have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or any application with it. It's simply an encoder that will tell uh, Octoprint whether or not your filament is still moving. First, let's talk about how to wire the sensor. Your Raspberry Pi mainboard has this GPIO header, general purpose input output. For this video, we're going to use the 3.3 volt power, which is pin one. We're going to use ground on pin nine and signal GPIO 17 on pin 11. We're going to use the harness that came with the sensor you purchased. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, these three pins are not immediately adjacent to each other, so we can't simply plug the three pin header that comes on the far side of this harness into our Raspberry Pi. We're going to have to use some wire jumpers. What you'll need to pay attention to are the markings on these cables. These flat lines are for the voltage side that'll go to your power. The dot is your signal line and the long rectangle is your ground. So the voltage is gonna go to pin one. The signal with the dots is going to go to pin 11, GPIO 17, and the ground with the long rectangles is going to go to pin nine for your ground. Right now, I already have this sensor configured. That's why I have this box down here that says Smart Filament Sensor. To install that plugin, you're going to go to Settings. In the Plugin Manager, you'll go to Get More, and you're going to search for Smart Filament Sensor. The one you want is the Smart Filament Sensor version 1.2. Go ahead and install that from the Plugin Manager, and then reload your Octoprint. Once Octoprint reloads, we need to go configure that add-on. So we will once again go to the settings dialog. You'll scroll down and now in your plugins, you'll have a smart filament sensor option. So go ahead and click that. The settings we want for this sensor with this video, board pin mode, you want to be in board mode. You're going to want the detection method to be distance. You can play with this, uh, but distance I found works best. And the pause command you want, since we're going through Octoprint instead of directly to firmware, is the Octoprint pause. This is where you're going to tell it which pin we connected the signal line to. If you follow this video, that is pin 11, which represents GPIO 17. But what you want to put here is the actual pin number. Make sure you enable the sensor. Um, and then these are your configurations for just how sensitive it is. I'm doing detection distance and I have that set to 12 millimeters. I found that works pretty well. Now, once you have all those settings uh, done, hit save, and those will become the operating parameters for the sensor. Now, after you have installed that sensor, you will have a new box right here on your main screen for Octoprint. It will tell you whether or not you have enabled the sensor, your mode, um, and whether or not it sees filament moving. So right now I have an active print. It's telling me that the filament is moving and it's telling me how close it is to saying, oh, your print has stopped. Because you'll notice just in the time we've been watching this, that value has moved quite a bit. It just went all the way down to six, even though I have my threshold set up around 12. Well, I hope you found this helpful and hopefully this sensor prevents you from having some frustrating losses of your prints. Uh, thank you again for watching with us and good luck.